Bora TV. The world is thinking. So are you for or against genetically modified food? Well, what, what our foundation is doing is we're working with uh, partners. For example, uh, DuPont Pioneer on some new maize things, uh, with ADM on some cocoa growing things. Uh, some of these are traditional breeding and some of them are transgenic. In parallel, we're also funding scientific expertise in Africa. So when, three or four years from now, uh, if things uh, go as, as expected, there are some crops with big benefits, drought resistance, that tra the transgenic approach uh, uh, probably can do better than any other approach. Each country can decide what are the benefits to them and what are the risks, what's known about right. safety, IP licensing and things that would make them hesitant. Right. And then, you know, they'll, uh, on their own, be able to make that decision. The likelihood that the safety profile will be okay and then that will be beneficial, I hope uh, that works out because it is a tool, uh, particularly for disease resistance, where you can put in a, a new gene called an RNA interference gene for a particular uh, uh, crop problem, it would it would be a, a real help. And you're right on the verge of starvation all the time, so every tool that's safe and appropriate, you at least want to look into.